Hello, how are you? Hmm? Oh, good. Yes, I'm very well, thank you for asking. My name is Rollett Lane, I'm a musician and a guitar tutor based in the UK. And in this video today, I want to talk about the C major scale and arpeggio and a quite straightforward way of playing both of those. Before we get into it, could I ask you please to subscribe to this channel, share the videos, like them and comment on them, because doing all of that just helps encourage the YouTube algorithm to send the videos out to more people, which I would appreciate. Okay, so we're gonna start with this. This is a C major chord. If you don't know that, that yet, I would suggest getting that first, but what I'm doing is my third finger is on fret three of the A string, my second finger is on fret two of the D string, my first finger is on fret one of the uh, B string, and I strum five strings. It gives me a C chord. Now my C major scale sounds like this. Now it uses some of the notes from the chord plus some others. So it starts with the same note, fret three on the A string, I'm using my third finger. That's the root note of the chord and the root note of the scale. A root note, just think of it as the note that the chord or the scale is named after. So in this case it's C. That's C. The next note I need is D, which I play with the open D string. Now in the chord I haven't got an open D string, I've got that fret two, so that needs to come out of the way. You might find it easier to get all your fingers out of the way. Okay, that's my D. Then I need the note E which is fret two on the D string, that is in the chord. Then I need the note F, which is fret three on the D string, not in the chord, so so far. Then I've got the open G string, then fret two on the G string, open B string, fret one on the B string. And that's my scale. Now the notes in the scale of C major are C, D, E, F, G, A and B. Seven notes. Well, how come I played eight there? It's because the last one is a C again in the next octave and it just sounds nicer to finish it like that rather than going... We need that note. Okay? So it's all the white notes from the piano. Now some of them are in the chord, some of them aren't. C, E and G are in the chord. They're the first, C. Third E, oops, and the fifth the G. Okay. Now a major chord is always made up of the one, the three, and the five, or the first, the third, and the fifth note of a scale. That's always the case. That's some music theory for you. Now an arpeggio is the notes of a chord played separately. So instead of doing this all together, we get played them individually. So you can do that really simply with this one because you just play the strings separately. And to finish it off and make it tidy, I think it's nice to do this. Now the notes here, I mentioned it's the 1, 3 and 5. In the case of C, that's C, E and G. Let's see what we've got. That's a C. Next string. That's an E. Next string. Open G. So that's a G. That's a C again. Then we've got an E at the top. So that's going 1, 3, 5, 1, 3. Now to round it off, why don't we put a 5 on the top, which is G, fret 3 on the high string, and then a C note at fret 8 on that string, so then you get and that's my C major arpeggio. So C chord, C scale, major scale, and then arpeggio. Okay, have a play around with those, I don't think you'll find them too difficult. And just remember that they're based around that C chord shape, which you probably already knew. Alright, in a future video we're going to look at the C major scale and the C major arpeggio using a, a different chord shape, not the C. But for now I want you to work on those. Okay, I hope that's been helpful. Let me know in the comments what you thought and how you're getting on with it. And as I mentioned at the start, please subscribe to the channel, comment on the videos, like, rate, share, review, whatever else, because that just encourages YouTube to push them out to more people. You can find out more information about me and the projects I'm working on and listen to the music that I've written at robertlanemusic.co.uk. I'm on social media, so Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as Robert Lane Music. And I also am doing a podcast, which I think you would find interesting. That's called the Robert Lane Creative Careers Podcast. And the idea with that is every week I speak to a creative person about how they make their art and how they make a living as well from selling their art or whatever it is that they do. So I've spoken to a whole load of musicians, a legendary songwriter called Graham Goldman, who wrote songs for 10cc and the Yardbirds and the Hollies. I've spoken to a casting agent, a hypnotist, actors a famous YouTuber, all sorts of people. You can find that on all good podcast providers and on my website, which, as I mentioned, is robertlaymusic.co.uk. Okay, until next time, goodbye.